Rajesh Kusapari hopes to find a lifelong companion, Xia Yongqiang hopes to be with Wang Xiaomeng for a lifetime, Ji Xiaolan doesn't want to let down Du Xiaoya's loyalty anymore, Yuan Hua doesn't want to hand over Chiyoya to anyone again awakening system, crossing thousands of realms, saving single men from all over the world. I am Xiang Nan, I am working hard. Keywords of the novel Saving the single from the sky no pop-ups, saving the single from the sky. Download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapter on saving the single from the sky. Chapter 1. The Marriage System of Various Heavens. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 2. Big Bang of Life. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2. Big bang of life, after hanging up the phone, Xiang Nan took a taxi back to his rental room. Along the way, he was extremely excited. The rapid secretion of hormones made him tremble with excitement. Xiang Nan knew that the marriage system of the heavens and the myriad realms would be a good opportunity for him to change his destiny against the heavens, and he also wanted to seize this opportunity well and seek the greatest benefit for himself. According to the description, I want to cross the heavens and worlds to fulfill the wishes of the seekers. Only by completing the task can I return and receive rewards, Xiang Nan quickly calculated in his heart. The secretion of a large amount of hormones makes his mind particularly clear and his analysis of things more clear. According to the description, I am likely to encounter danger, illness, injury, or death during the task. In that case, I cannot take on all tasks, it is better to take on tasks that are relatively easy to complete. Which task should I take? Xiang Nan looked at the scrolling messages on the screen, and after a while, he received many task requests. Zhui Hang hopes to never disappoint Lian Nishang in this life, Ning Kaichen longs to stay with Nia Xiaoqian until old age, Su Xian hopes to love by Suzhen for a lifetime. Luo Xiaohu wants to wander the rivers and lakes with Yu Jiao. I expected well, there are indeed many dangerous tasks, Xiang Nan said with a stern expression. He knew that Ning Kaichen and Nia Xiaoqian should have come from the world of the ghost of Qinnu. That world is a world of demons, and Ning Kaichen's hands are powerless, and he could die in any minute. Su Xian and Bai Suzhen should come from the world of the legend of the white snake. There were equally many demons and monsters in that world, and Su Xian was also powerless. He encountered many unexpected situations and narrowly survived. Therefore, Xiang Nan has no plans to take on these tasks temporarily. Xiang Nan returned to his rental house. This is the attic located on the top floor. Every time Xiang Nan comes home, he is exhausted from climbing stairs and panting heavily. However, because the attic was cheap, he lived for two years and was never willing to move. The attic is a three-bedroom, one-living-room house with simple decoration, while Xiang Nan lives in a shaded room. It has the smallest space and the cheapest rent. Due to being shaded and not exposed to sunlight all year round, the room has become slightly damp. Xiang Nan returned to his house, opened his computer, clicked on the search web page, and began searching for information. After some comparison, he finally decided to accept the task from Rajesh Kusapari in the world of Big Bang, to find a lifelong companion for him. He chose it for his first task because the safety factor in this world is relatively high. The Big Bang of Life tells the humorous story of four geek scientists. Leonard Hofstad, Sheldon Cooper, Rajesh Kusapari, and Howard Wulowitz, who meet with their beautiful neighbor Penny. This is a sitcom with little danger involved. The biggest damage that the four protagonists have ever suffered is just being stripped of their pants. The second reason is that the difficulty of completing this task is relatively low. Rajesh Kusapari's conditions are actually very excellent. He is a doctoral student who graduated from the University of Cambridge and works as a researcher at the California Institute of Technology, mainly engaged in research in astrophysics. Among the four main characters, his intelligence is second only to Sheldon Cooper, and he also appeared in People magazine in the second season, 
being selected as one of the top 30 most worthy people under 30 in the world. In addition to his superior intelligence and education, he is also a wealthy second generation from India. Their family assets, according to Sheldon Cooper, are between Bruce Wayne, Batman, $9.2 billion, and Scrooge, Donald Duck's uncle, $65.4 billion. Even if Sheldon's words are exaggerated, with a discount, at least $1 billion is worth it. Raj himself revealed that his father owned a Mercedes Benz, his childhood toy house was a large villa, and there were too many servants at home to use in summary, Raj's conditions are very excellent. He couldn't find a lifelong companion mainly because he was too shy. In the previous seasons, due to selective mutism, he was unable to converse with women, excluding his own family, resulting in missing out on many good opportunities. Also, his attire is too tacky. He likes to wear old dot fashion sweaters and jackets, a third world working dot class attire, which makes it difficult for him to win the favor of girls. In addition, according to the roast of his ex-girlfriends, he is also a bit clingy, mama, vain and poor in bed skills. This also makes it difficult for him to win the favor of girls. Therefore, as long as these shortcomings are corrected, Xiang Nan believes that helping Raj find a lifelong companion should not be difficult. In fact, in the play, he almost got married to Anu in the end. Therefore, in Xiang Nan's view, the difficulty of this task is very low, and he is confident in completing it. Over the next week, Xiang Nan carefully read The Big Bang of Life and took many notes. In addition, he also investigated major breakthroughs in physics in the past decade, as well as various investment and profit opportunities. He wants to help Raj achieve success in his career, which not only enhances his confidence, but also frees him from dependence on his family and avoids becoming a mommy boy again. To be honest, these preparation tasks are not easy. He only has a regular college diploma, not a physics major yet. Therefore, just reading those physics papers made him feel dizzy and dizzy, and he was on the verge of death. However, in the face of current interests, Xiang Nan did his best and still remembered the coordinates of more than 10 new stars, as well as the latest research on gravitational waves, dark matter, black holes, and so on. After he had made all the preparations, Xiang Nan finally chose to accept Rajesh Kusapari's mission. After he clicked on the information on the screen, a light gate immediately appeared in front of him. Xiang Nan took a deep breath and then walked into the Guanmin. Immediately afterwards, he felt a large amount of memories flooding into his mind. I am Rajesh Ramayana Kusapari, born in New Delhi and the third son of a gynecologist. I have been known as a child prodigy since I was young, and I discovered my first celestial body at the age of five. Later, I found out that it was the moon. I don't know how long it has been, but Xiang Nan slowly opened his eyes. He knows his current identity, which is Rajesh Kusapari. And the place he is currently located is the house rented by Rajesh. The whole room is filled with exotic charm. Such as tapestries from India, mandalas painted with deities, and ornaments produced in India. Perhaps due to receiving Raja's memory, Xiang Nan had no sense of rejection towards this room, but instead felt very compatible. Later, he entered the bathroom and looked in the mirror, only to see that he had truly transformed into Raja's appearance. This is really amazing, he said, pinching his brown cheeks. New book upload, please support us. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 3. Avatar Raj You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 4 4. Change starting from clothes. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 4. Change starting from clothes, you should come find me, I'll be busy for a while longer, Xiang Nan thought for a moment and said to Howard. He hasn't finished memorizing the key points of his paper yet and doesn't want to give up halfway. Otherwise, if he forgets, he won't even be able to cry in time. Okay then, Howard hesitated for a moment before nodding. After hanging up the phone, Xiang Nan continued to transcribe. 
After about half an hour, he heard a knock on the door. Xiang Nansong took good notes and went over to open the door, only to see Howard standing outside with a smile on his face. Hi, please come in, Xiang Nan smiled. I'm sorry, I really forgot about our date. It's okay, you've already apologized, Howard waved his hand and smiled, then quickly walked into the room. Tell me about your new discovery. That is a planet, about 100 light dot years away from us, located in the constellation of swordfish in the Magellanic Galaxy, orbiting a red dwarf. Xiang Nan laughed, I boldly speculate that it is likely a terrestrial planet. A terrestrial planet. Wow, congratulations to you. Howard laughed heartily after listening. A terrestrial planet, as the name suggests, is a planet similar to Earth and is also the most sought after celestial body by astronomers. On the one hand, terrestrial planets are similar to Earth. The so dot called stones from other mountains can be used to attack jade. By studying them, one can know the origin of the Earth and life. On the one hand, terrestrial planets may give birth to life and have positive implications for the search for extraterrestrial civilizations. Moreover, it may also become a future interstellar colony. Since ancient times, humans have discovered less than 5,000 terrestrial planets, and only over 50 habitable planets the size of Earth. Therefore, discovering an Earth-like planet, which is also a habitable planet, would be a great honor for astronomers and a major breakthrough for the scientific community. Thank you. Xiang Nan smiled, I still have to thank you. Without the telescope bracket you designed for me, I wouldn't have been able to discover it so smoothly. If I had the opportunity to be interviewed in the future, I would definitely greatly praise you. In the drama, Raj was selected by People magazine as one of the top 30 most worthy people under the age of 30 for discovering an asteroid, 2008.NQ sub.17. His face was full of arrogance and disrespect, which made his friends very unhappy. Xiang Nan naturally wouldn't have such low emotional intelligence. Howard was indeed very happy to hear him say that. He gave Xiang Nan a strong hug and said, Thank you, good brother. You're welcome, you deserve it, Xiang Nan smiled. Well, we should go find Leonard and make him happy for you too, Howard suggested. Wow, if Sheldon knew you made such a big discovery, he would definitely be jealous of you. Xiang Nan smiled and nodded. Sheldon does not like to be surpassed by others, whether that person is his friend or his competitor. Okay, but wait for me to change clothes first, he waved his hand and smiled. After crossing over, he was busy with work and had not yet had time to change clothes. Now he is still wearing Raja's favorite three-piece suit, a shirt, sweater, jacket, and a third world working dot class outfit. This tacky outfit doesn't attract girls. Okay. Howard readily agreed. Xiang Nan immediately walked into the bedroom and started changing clothes. Actually, Raj has quite a few good clothes. After all, he comes from a wealthy second-generation background, and there are many famous brands in his wardrobe. Xiang Nan took off his three-piece suit, changed into a shirt, tie, suit, and put on a pair of leather shoes. Following him in the mirror, I saw that the whole person was much more energetic. With Raj's appearance, figure, and temperament, the yuppie style of dressing is very suitable for him. Before Xiang Nan's crossing, he specifically checked the photos of Raja's character Kunaniya. I found that his daily attire is a yuppie style, very handsome and very gentlemanly. Paired with his unique dark skin, it's really charming. Even Sheldon's actor Jim Parsons praised him as the most handsome man he had ever seen. After changing his clothes, Xiang Nan walked out. Wow, why are you dressed so grandly? Where's your sweater, where's your coat? Howard was surprised when he saw it. He only saw Raj dressed like this when attending important occasions. Today is just a visit to Leonard's house, so it shouldn't be dressed so grandly. I don't want to wear that anymore, Xiang Nan waved his hand and smiled. Why, you figured it out? Howard asked in surprise. Raj is confident in his aesthetic honey. 
He has advised him countless times before not to wear sweaters or old dot fashion jackets, but he never listens. Unexpectedly, he changed it today. Yeah, I've been dressing up like that for over twenty years, and no girl has ever liked me. I should have thought of that long ago, Xiang Nan said with reason. Howard nodded after listening. Actually, Howard, you should also make a change, Xiang Nan suggested with a smile. Me. My outfit is cool, why do I need to change it? Howard asked in confusion. Xiang Nan smiled. Howard wears tight pants, a bright shirt, and a turtleneck sweater all year round. He often wears an alien badge on the collar, paired with an exaggerated belt. Make others appear both childish and exaggerated, like a young child. In fact, the reason why he dresses like this is precisely because his mother arranged it. Dude, like me, you can't find girls all year round. Don't you think about why? Xiang Nan smiled. If you look really cool, why aren't there any girls chasing you? Dot. Howard was stunned by Xiang Nan's question. He has been dressing up like this for over twenty years, during which no girl has pursued him. On the contrary, he also drew a lot of ridicule for it. He always thought it was because they didn't understand how to appreciate, but now hearing Xiang Nan's words, his belief suddenly wavered. We are all scientists, and we know how to falsify. When a theory is proven wrong, we should have the courage to give it up, Xiang Nan patted Howard's shoulder and said. Dot. Seeing Xiang Nan say such insightful words, Howard was speechless for a moment. All right, let's go, Xiang Nan laughed again. I'm going to buy new clothes tomorrow. If you're determined to change, please come with me. Hmm. Howard nodded in a complex mood and then walked out of the room with Xiang Nan. Arriving downstairs, Xiang Nan found Raja's beloved car. This is a silver BMW car, gifted by Raja's father, very beautiful and very new. Later, he drove Howard towards Leonard's house. End of this chapter Chapter 5 5. Wash up and find it quickly. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 5. Wash up and find it quickly. After driving for 15 minutes, the two arrived at Los Robles 2311. After climbing the fourth floor together, Howard knocked on the door of 4A's room. Xiang Nan noticed that there were some cardboard boxes and old furniture piled up at the entrance of 4B on the opposite side. It seems Penny has really moved in, he thought quietly in his heart. After a moment, the door opened. We all have good news to tell you, Howard immediately smiled when he saw Leonard, and then he walked into the room. Xiang Nan nodded to Leonard with a smile and walked in. After watching the complete episode of, The Big Bang of Life, he thought Leonard was really good. Kind.hearted, hardworking, obsessed with loved ones, and willing to cut corners with friends, he can be said to be the cutest person in the entire drama of, Big Bang of Life. The only downside is being too weak. What good news? Leonard asked in confusion. I found a speech by Hawking at MIT for seven or four years, Howard said proudly, and Raj discovered an Earth-like planet. Wow, really? Congratulations. Leonard listened and looked happily at Xiang Nandao. Thank you. However, I haven't finalized it yet, so congratulations are a bit early, Xiang Nan humbly waved his hand. In fact, he was 100% certain that it was a terrestrial planet. Yeah, it's not really worth celebrating, Sheldon sneered, it's just a chance discovery of a stone that has been drifting slowly in the universe for billions of years. With good luck, anyone can discover it. Upon hearing what he said, Xiang Nan couldn't help but frown. When he watched the series, The Big Bang, before, he knew that Sheldon had a sharp tongue, arrogance, and low emotional intelligence. But because the object is not oneself, it not only is not repulsive, but also makes people feel interesting. But now, he has become Raj. Hearing such rude words again feels very harsh. You don't believe in luck, Leonard said at that moment. 
If Raj really discovers an Earth-like planet, it's really something to congratulate. Hearing him take the initiative to defend himself, Xiang Nan's heart immediately warmed. Ah, Sheldon shrugged disdainfully. Although Xiang Nan knew he was not inherently bad, seeing him so arrogant, he couldn't help but feel a bit tempted to crush him. At this moment, Howard had already stuffed the videotape of Hawking's speech into the recorder and immediately sat on the sofa to start playing. Hi, Howie, it's not the right time now, Leonard quickly dissuaded. Why? Howard asked in confusion. Leonard has a lady visiting, Sheldon explained first. Yeah, your grandmother came to see you again. Howard casually continued. Last Thanksgiving, Leonard's grandmother, who had dementia, came to visit him and stripped him naked in the living room, leaving unforgettable memories for everyone. No, it's not a lady, it's a new neighbor, Leonard quickly explained. Wait, Howard stood up immediately upon hearing this. So, is there really a lady here? Hmm. Leonard nodded. Are you driving us away to have a conversation with her? Howard asked curiously. I didn't want to communicate with her, Leonard quickly defended. That means others can communicate with her. Howard pursued. Can we stop using the word communication, dot? Leonard said awkwardly. Xiang Nan was also speechless for a moment. Howard is really too lewd, too anxious, and whenever he hears a woman, he thinks of having sex. I really don't know what structure his brain is. At this moment, a girl wrapped in a towel, barefoot, walked quickly out of the bathroom. Leonard, should there be a knob to send water from the bathtub to the shower she asked as she walked. Immediately, she saw Howard and Xiang Nan in the living room. At the moment she saw Xiang Nan, her eyes lit up. I'm sorry, she immediately stopped and awkwardly greeted, I'm sorry, hello everyone, nice to meet you, madam. Howard's eyes lit up as he saw her, and he immediately approached to approach her. I am Howard Wulowitz, an engineer from the Department of Physics at the California Institute of Technology. You may already be familiar with some of my research findings. It is orbiting Jupiter's largest satellite, taking high-dot-resolution digital photos. I'm Penny, I work at a cheesecake factory. Penny glanced at him and then turned to Xiang Nan, asking proactively, are you also their colleague? Not bad, he's Rajesh Kusapari, Howard volunteered, but he has selective mutism and cannot talk to girls. Really? Penny exclaimed in surprise. It was the first time she had heard of such a strange illness, but unfortunately, this handsome guy with a rather exotic charm had arrived. Of course not, Xiang Nan said with a smile, I just don't like to talk because my accent is a bit strange and I'm afraid of being laughed at. Howard, Leonard, and Sheldon were all startled to see him speak. They have known Raj for three years and have never seen him speak in front of a girl. Unless the girl is not beautiful or she is mixed in with the crowd. Raj, is your selective mutism okay? Howard asked in surprise. Xiang Nan smiled. Raja's selective mutism is mainly a psychological issue. Because he lacked confidence in facing girls and dared not communicate with them, over time he became ill. In the drama, he miraculously recovered from his heartbreak at the end of the sixth season. Xiang Nan did not have any psychological problems in this area, and he was able to communicate with girls freely, so Raja's illness was cured by him. I think your accent is very interesting, Penny said with a smile. Thank you, Xiang Nan nodded. Actually, I can speak the same way. Seeing Raja's accent pique Penny's interest, Howard immediately imitated it. He is an imitator who not only knows box, but also imitates celebrities such as Nicolas Cage and Al Pacino. It's not a problem to imitate Raj who is together every day. Penny frowned when she saw him doing so. Let me take you to get the knob, Leonard quickly stood up as he saw Howard pestering Penny. Ah, thank you. Penny nodded and followed him. Bon douche. Howard saw this and quickly shouted from behind. What do you mean? Penny stopped and turned around, 
frowning and asking in confusion. It's in French, meaning, wash well. It's a congratulatory message that I can say in six languages, Howard boasted proudly. Penny awkwardly pursed her mouth. Keep it on your blog, Leonard roast, then took Penny away. Wash it up and look for it. Howard shouted at the top of his throat without giving up. Xiang Nan couldn't help but laugh when he heard this awkward Chinese sentence. New book on shelves, seeking various support, thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 6. No Comparison, No Gap You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 6. No Comparison, No Gap, Raj, When Does Your Selective Mutism Improve? I don't even know why. Howard asked curiously as he handed the takeout to Xiang Nan. Actually, there were signs of improvement before, and today I should have completely recovered, Xiang Nan smiled and said, but I'm not quite sure how it works. I guess it's probably a miracle. He didn't want to discuss this matter anymore, so everything was pushed towards metaphysics. Seeing him say so, Sheldon rolled his eyes wide. Howard stopped hesitating and nodded with a smile, congratulations on that. Immediately, he exclaimed excitedly, it's better if you recover from your illness. In this way, we can work together to pick up girls, and you happen to be my wingman. Xiang Nan smiled. In the drama, although Howard was very hungry and thirsty, he would soak in girls with a variety of tricks. It's magic, speaking a foreign language and pretending to be gothic, but the success rate is very low. Throughout the entire drama, he only managed to catch up with Bernadette and his performance was not as outstanding as Raj and Leonard. How worthy of being a wingman! Just then, Leonard excitedly came out of the bathroom and said, Sheldon, come with me. What are you going to do? Sheldon asked in confusion. Just come with me and you'll know, Leonard said mysteriously. Upon seeing this, Sheldon immediately became interested and stood up. Should we go to the comic store to buy comics or the supermarket to buy batteries? Wait, don't tell me yet, let me guess better. Xiang Nan smiled and knew that Leonard had been asked by Penny to go to her ex-boyfriend for a TV. But because they had no deterrence at all, not only did they not retrieve the TV, but they were also stripped of their pants. Sheldon's pants were ripped off, and Xiang Nan didn't feel any pain at all. Who made him speak so harshly? But he couldn't bear to see Leonard suffer, so he immediately stood up. Wait, Leonard, where are you going? Xiang Nan asked. Dot. Leonard said reluctantly. He hopes this is his and Penny's little secret. What's going on? Howard saw this and immediately became suspicious, asking the same question. Leonard was not good at lying and was forced to tell the truth by the two of them. Upon hearing this, Howard knew it was a good opportunity to please the beautiful woman and immediately applied to participate. Sheldon, on the other hand, looked disappointed. He thought Leonard had taken him out to play, but instead he was asked to work as a porter, and his mouth suddenly became wide open. Leonard firmly rejected Howard's application. He has regarded Penny as something in his bag and will not allow anyone to compete with him. Howard was rejected, despite being very reluctant, but because he was good friends with Leonard, he still chose to back down. Sheldon, if you're willing to accompany me, I'll give you the first edition of the Green Lantern comic, he seduced Sheldon again. Despite being reluctant, Sheldon quickly agreed under the influence of the comic. Leonard is about to set off with Sheldon. Leonard, I want to remind you that it's not acceptable for you to go like this, Xiang Nan quickly reminded. Why? Leonard stopped and looked at Xiang Nan Dao in confusion. It's very simple. As soon as you look, you know your nerds. Will they still return the TV to you obediently? Xiang Nan explained. Upon hearing his words and looking at each other's clothing, Leonard was immediately unable to refute them. In my opinion, it's best for you to change into a suit and pretend to be Penny's representative lawyer, Xiang Nan suggested. In the United States, lawyers are an awe-inspiring profession, and no one wants to provoke them. 
Upon hearing this, Leonard felt lost in thought. But we are not Penny's representative lawyers, isn't this making us lie? Sheldon simply refused. Although he has many problems, he doesn't know how to lie and just says whatever he has. This is one of his rare strengths. You can think of it as a live-action game where you play the role of a lawyer, Xiang Nan smiled slightly, knowing that Sheldon loves playing games the most, just like a child. Upon hearing this, Sheldon was indeed interested. I changed into a formal outfit with Leonard and went to retrieve the TV. After Leonard and Sheldon left, Xiang Nan and Howard returned to their seats to continue eating. They are eating Indian cuisine, to be honest, the taste is really not suitable. While eating, Penny has already taken a shower. After returning home and changing her clothes, she returned to 4A again. Are you all working at the same university as Leonard and Sheldon? She sat next to Xiang Nan and asked with a smile. Not bad, we are all colleagues, Howard rushed to answer and offered a packet of juice. Penny, where did you come from? Well, I'm from Omaha, Penny smiled and then asked Xiang Nan, where are you from? Before Xiang Nan could answer, Howard rushed back and said, Omaha. I thought you were from Mars, because only the gravity of Mars can shape such a perky buttocks. Upon hearing him praise her so much, Penny couldn't help but frown. I'll tell you a secret. I'm still the developer of Mars Ranger. If you're interested, I can let you drive on Mars, Howard said proudly as he leaned in close to Penny. Penny rolled her eyes when she heard him say that. Xiang Nan couldn't help but frown when he saw Howard's urgent expression and his lewd words. Although he is not a romantic influencer, he also knows that pursuing girls is best done from start to finish, and remember to stick to it. Simply being twisted will not move girls, but only disgust them. Penny, I noticed that you just moved in today and there must be a lot of household chores to take care of. Howard and I happen to be fine, should we help you? Xiang Nan suggested with a smile. Penny was deeply moved upon hearing this. She just moved over and her home is in a mess, with all her luggage still in the box. She really needs to take good care of it. I'm so sorry about that, she hesitated. Don't worry, we're fine anyway, Xiang Nan smiled. Howie, are you right? Of course, I'm happy to help. Howard immediately accepted the opportunity to please the girl. Thank you all, then. Penny was also very happy to see this and immediately brought Xiang Nan and Howard to her room. The three of them immediately began to tidy up. In fact, Howard is not good at household chores. He lives with his mother, and all the household chores are done by her. Therefore, working now shows shortcomings, often standing there foolishly without knowing what to do. On the other hand, since graduating from university at the age of 22, Xiang Nan has been living alone and taking care of household chores. Therefore, he cleans the floor, mops the floor, and cleans the windows in an orderly manner. Penny's daughter comes from a farm background and has been doing farm work since childhood. Taking care of household chores is a piece of cake for her. Now that Xiang Nan and Howard are working together, she can't help but feel a comparison in her heart. End of this chapter Chapter 7 7. Smart and considerate towards the wealthy second generation you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 77, Smart and Considerate Towards the Wealthy Second Generation, just as the three of them were busy organizing, Howard suddenly noticed that one of the cardboard boxes had the words, underwear, written on it, which made his eyes bright. Penny, is this your underwear in this box? Let me help you hang it in the wardrobe, Howard said, picking up the box. Oh, no need, let me handle it. Penny was startled and immediately walked over. She doesn't want Howard to touch her intimate clothes. It's okay, I really enjoy helping, Howard insisted, wanting to see how many styles Penny's underwear had. Penny frowned again when she saw him so uninterested. Howie, come and move this sofa with me, Xiang Nan quickly shouted upon seeing this. Ah, Raj called you. Penny immediately grabbed the box, then smiled at Howard and hurriedly walked into the bedroom, 
hiding her underwear. Howard had no choice but to help Xiang Nan move the sofa. Brother, what's wrong with you? Xiang Nan asked in a low voice as he moved the sofa. Why do you rush to hang someone else's underwear even though you know it's inside? Hey, don't you want to know what she's wearing inside? Howard saw Xiang Nan accusing himself and immediately countered with a righteous tone. I don't want to, Xiang Nan said decisively. If she takes the initiative to show me, then I still have a chance to go further. If she doesn't have it, even if I see it, what's the use? Howard was taken aback and was left speechless when asked by Xiang Nan. Hey buddy, what books have you been reading lately? Your words are becoming more and more reasonable, he sighed later. After being busy for almost an hour, Xiang Nan and Howard finally helped Penny tidy up the house. As Penny watched her once messy new home become tidy and comfortable, a flower burst out on her face and she said, Thank you, you've really helped me a lot. You're welcome, Howard laughed. I love helping beautiful women like you the most. Hee hee, is that right? Penny chuckled sarcastically, I don't know how I can repay you. How about this? I'll treat you to dinner tonight, okay? At this moment, Leonard and Sheldon also walked in carrying a LCD TV. Wow, Leonard, you really helped me get the TV back. Thank you both so much, Penny said with a smile as she stepped forward. Leonard is also very happy to please beautiful women. It's nothing, just a small matter, he wrote lightly. Small matter. Sheldon didn't quite agree, as they traveled half of Los Angeles to retrieve the TV and almost got beaten. It's a small matter, Leonard glanced at him and said with certainty once again. Oh, it's a small matter, Sheldon could only agree. Did the process go smoothly? He didn't make things difficult for you, did he? Penny asked with concern. Hmm. Leonard hesitated for a moment. What's wrong, he's making things difficult for you? Penny asked with concern. At first, he didn't really want to give it, but later I lied and claimed to be your lawyer, so he obediently gave me the TV, Leonard explained. Wow, you're really smart, Penny exclaimed in surprise. She didn't expect Leonard to look like a bookish person, and he could be so adaptable in any situation. It's really hard to judge a person by their appearance. Thank you, Leonard smiled happily as he received praise from the beautiful woman. Isn't the idea of pretending to be a lawyer really impressive? Sheldon stood aside and said. Leonard's smile froze instantly, with an awkward expression on his face. Penny looked at Raj in surprise. He is handsome, considerate, and intelligent, really a good man. Although I came up with the idea, it was Leonard who implemented it, and the credit should still belong to him, Xiang Nan smiled humbly. Hmm. Penny nodded more satisfied as she saw him compromise, anyway, thank you all. I'll treat everyone to dinner. Yeah. Howard couldn't help but cheer. After a brief rest, the five people immediately went downstairs. Take my car, everyone. Leonard took out the car and greeted the driver, Penny, you can take the passenger seat. His car is a General Motors Saab 95, priced at around $25,000, and belongs to the regular range of cars. Why, the co-pilot has always been sitting with me, Sheldon immediately objected. I'll also drive there. After the party, Howie and I will go straight home, Xiang Nan suggested, and then drove his BMW over. Compared to Leonard Saab, Xiang Nan's BMW undoubtedly takes it to the next level. Oh, good car. Penny couldn't help but praise. Thank you, do you want to give it a try? Xiang Nan smiled and said. Really? Thank you. Penny was pleasantly surprised and immediately got into Xiang Nan's car. Xiang Nan then moved to the passenger seat. Howard and Leonard were both dumbfounded at the sight. Damn it, it seems I'm going to buy a car too, Howard couldn't help but say, his current car is just a Weber scooter. Hi buddy, wait a minute, I'll take your car too. He quickly ran over and got into Xiang Nan's car, but could only sit in the back seat. 
Sheldon sat happily in the passenger seat when he saw no one competing with him. Dot. Leonard looked at him helplessly and had no choice but to sit back in the car and start it. Then, led by Penny, we drove towards the restaurant together. Wow, the driving experience of this car is really good, much stronger than the car I bought, Penny said with satisfaction as she drove. She bought a used car, and even the engine has problems. It makes noise either here or there. Compared to Xiang Nan's BMW, it's simply a pile of garbage. Thank you. Xiang Nan smiled, actually, this is a birthday gift from my dad. Oh, your dad really has money, Penny said enviously. This BMW car costs at least fifty to sixty thousand dollars. Xiang Nan's father actually gave him such a valuable gift, obviously not ordinary wealth. Yes, he owns the largest obstetrics and gynecology hospital in New Delhi, Xiang Nan nodded. Really? Penny exclaimed in surprise. Doctors have always been a high-dot-income profession in the United States, which is highly enviable. And Xiang Nan's family actually runs a hospital, so their income is bound to be higher. Unexpectedly, this smart, considerate, and gentle little handsome guy is still a wealthy second-dot-generation. This made her interest even stronger. Is your family so wealthy? I haven't heard of it before, Howard was equally surprised to hear that Xiang Nan's family runs a hospital. To be honest, I'm not too fond of mentioning these things, so that others don't think I'm showing off, Xiang Nan explained with a smile. You did it very well, Penny agreed. The wealthy second dot generation she had seen before all liked to show off, and none of them were as low dot key, introverted, and steady as Xiang Nan. It's true that people die when compared to people, and goods are thrown away when compared to goods. Book friends who have passed by, please save it. There are two extra recommended tickets to support. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 8. Sharpening the knife will not mistake the woodcutter. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 8. Sharpening the knife will not mistake the woodcutter. Five people came to a steak shop recommended by Penny. Today is Saturday and we should have Chinese food, Sheldon frowned as she saw Penny treating them to steak and got off the car. Penny couldn't help feeling a bit embarrassed when she saw him say that. She kindly invited everyone to dinner, but unexpectedly someone didn't appreciate it. Sheldon, be friendly, Leonard quickly reminded. But I'm not wrong, Saturday is for Chinese food, Sheldon insisted, not someone who would easily compromise. Seeing him so picky, Penny felt even more embarrassed. I didn't expect to treat myself, but I was able to invite someone out. Xiang Nan couldn't help but shake his head when he saw the situation. Sheldon, listen to Penny. Whatever she invites us to eat, we'll eat. Howard said dog-legged. Today is Saturday, so we should have Chinese food, Sheldon continued, not an easily submissive person. Penny saw him so stubborn and was about to make concessions, taking everyone to eat Chinese food. At this moment, Xiang Nan spoke up and said, Sheldon, allow me to quote what Spock said before his death, the needs of the majority are more important than those of the few. Xiang Nani quoted Spock's classic lines from Star Trek, and Sheldon, a loyal fan of Spock, immediately surrendered. Okay then, he nodded. Seeing him finally make concessions, Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Penny gave Xiang Nan a grateful glance. After entering the restaurant and ordering, everyone chatted while eating. Leonard and Howard both wanted to get close to Penny and get to know her better, so they frequently asked her questions. Where was born, where did I grow up, where did I go to school, where did I graduate, where did I work, and what were the names of all the people in my family? Chattered and asked a basket of questions. In contrast, Xiang Nan and Sheldon sit quietly on the side. Sheldon doesn't like these topics and doesn't want to participate in such boring conversations. Xiang Nan, on the other hand, knows that girls are most concerned about checking their household registration when boys meet for the first time. He has been on blind dates so many times, so he must have some experience. 
Penny was indeed thoroughly questioned by Leonard and Howard. She invited everyone to dinner tonight to show her gratitude, not to reveal the truth. Raj, what's your job? She coughed lightly and changed the topic. I do research in astrophysics. If you see those stars in the sky, they all belong to me for research, Xiang Nan pointed to the sky outside the window. Wow, you're amazing, Penny said in admiration. Just now Leonard and Howard both introduced their jobs, but she didn't even understand a word. And Xiang Nan's work is clear at a glance, actually studying stars, which in her opinion is quite high. End. If you're interested, you can come to my astronomy room and I'll show you the stars in the sky, Xiang Nan smiled. Really? All right. Penny nodded and agreed. Watching stars is nothing special, if you're interested, I can let you drive on Mars, Howard said with jealousy when he saw Xiang Nan successfully dating Penny. No need, Penny glanced at him and calmly declined. Howard was rejected and couldn't help but feel a bit discouraged. It's only eight o'clock now, it's still very early. Do you want to have a drink? Howard invited after dinner. Today is Planet Six, Saturday is Laundry Night, Sheldon said immediately upon hearing this, then began to wonder, I really don't know what's going on with you today. Sheldon, Leonard pleaded with a look on his face. He really wants to be with Penny, he doesn't want to take Sheldon home. Leonard, you know me, today is laundry night and we must go back, Sheldon insisted. Sheldon, Spock said before he died. Leonard was about to learn from Xiang Nan and quoted Spock's famous quote to persuade him. At this moment, Howard delivered a divine assist and said, Goodbye Leonard. Mmm. Sheldon immediately looked at Leonard with pride. Leonard had a bitter face and had to endure the pain to bid farewell to Penny, taking Sheldon away. All right, where are we going? Howard rubbed his hands. Actually, I want to go back to the astronomical laboratory and confirm my discovery again, Xiang Nan said. You are not mistaken. You are really a fool when you want to go to work when there are beautiful women today. Howard could not help but murmur at Xiang Nan's words. But no matter how softly he spoke, he didn't hide it from Penny's ear. Penny was the first to contemplate Howard's words. I greatly appreciate Xiang Nan's approach. Can I go to the astronomy room with you? I want to see those stars, she suggested to Xiang Nan. Howard felt envy and jealousy upon seeing this. In that case, I'll go too, he quickly declared. Xiang Nan is indispensable. To be honest, picking up girls is not his top priority. The saying goes, sharpening a knife does not delay the woodcutter. As long as you make yourself better, you should not worry about not having women. Moreover, Penny is not his best choice either. Although she is young, beautiful, with blonde hair and blue eyes, she is a typical American sweetheart and likable, but her love history is too rich. Leonard can accept it, but Xiang Nan cannot accept it. And after watching the entire series, Leonard and Penny, the official CP, also left a deep impression on him. Xiang Nan subconsciously believed that Penny belonged to Leonard, and now he is good friends with Leonard, so he doesn't want to ruin this relationship. The three of them then took a car to California Institute of Technology and entered the astronomical laboratory. Wow, this is where you work. Penny exclaimed in surprise as she entered the astronomy room. But I didn't see the telescope. Where is it? There are multiple computers and instruments in the astronomical room, but only one telescope is not available. In Hawaii, the observation angles and meteorological conditions are the best. Telescopes can be set up there to achieve the best observation results, Howard explained quickly. Then the signal can be transmitted to the screen in real time through optical fibers. Mmm. Penny blinked, not very interested in these. Let me tell you something interesting. I observed some optical flashes a few days ago, which may have been reflected from natural objects. However, natural objects usually have weaker reflectivity, so it is likely that they were created by aliens, Xiang Nan said with a smile. Wow! 
cool. Henny widened her eyes as she heard it. You sit down first, I'll finish my work first, Xiang Nan smiled again. Okay, you're busy first, Henny nodded. Xiang Nan immediately arrived at the workbench and started working. He wants to use the Keck telescope in Hawaii to take photos of the TOI 700D planet. To register a new star, in addition to having coordinates, it is also necessary to have a photo of it. Then apply to the International Astronomical Union for further scientific verification to confirm that it is truly a nova before the applicant can obtain certification. Xiang Nan now only has coordinates and no photos of the planet, so he needs to make up for this lesson now. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 9. Go up and have a drink. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 9. Go up and have a drink. The TOI 700D planet that Xiang Nan is looking for was discovered in 2020. It is located 100 light dot years away in the constellation of Swordfish in the Magellanic Galaxy, orbiting a red dwarf star called TOI 700. The scientific community is inexplicably excited about its discovery. Firstly, it is only 20% larger than the Earth, secondly, it is located in a livable area, thirdly, it has a suitable temperature and may contain liquid water. These three advantages make it very likely to become a livable planet. And humans have discovered countless planets to this day, with only over 50 habitable planets. Every discovery of an additional one is a huge breakthrough, enough to make it onto the top 10 breakthroughs in physics of the year. For example, in 2016, the physical world hosted by the British Physical Society included the discovery of neighboring star B as one of the top 10 breakthroughs of the year. Therefore, once Xiang Nan is certified as the discoverer, he will surely receive great honor. Due to knowing the coordinate position of TOI 700D, Xiang Nan quickly locked it and took a photo of it. Later, he sent an email to the International Astronomical Union, IAU, and attached his speculation. The next time is waiting for IAU's verification. After finishing the main task, Xiang Nan breathed a sigh of relief. Then he heard a click and when he turned to look, he saw Howard performing magic for Penny. He has learned magic specifically to pick up girls, and he always wears small props on his body, but few of them have been fooled by him. Now that Penny is also smiling awkwardly, I know that his move has not worked. I'm done. Xiang Nan stretched lazily and said, Penny, do you want to see the stars? Please come over here. God bless, yes. Penny heard it and immediately left Howard behind as if hearing a fairy voice. If she stayed with him any longer, she felt like she was going crazy. I have never seen a pursuer who uses such clumsy methods and stubbornly pesters. Come, please take a seat. Xiang Nan gave up his seat to Penny and then clicked on a planet video. Look, this is the sky above us. Wow, it's so beautiful, Penny said in surprise. The stars above are dotted and densely packed, much more shocking than observation with the naked eye. Yes, Xiang Nan smiled. Every time I see these stars, I think of a poem by the Indian poet Tagore, I believe that among the stars, there is always a star that leads my soul through the unknown darkness. Oh, such a beautiful poem, Penny sighed. Indeed, Xiang Nan smiled, Tagore has another poem that I think is also very interesting. The fish said to the water, you can't see my tears because I'm in the water. The water said to the fish, I can feel your tears because you are in my heart. Oh, Penny couldn't help but be moved when she heard such a touching love poem, her eyes watery as she looked at Xiang Nan. The pot said, it's almost cooked, there's so much nonsense. Xiang Nan then changed his tone. Penny was taken aback and then burst into laughter. While laughing, he poked Xiang Nan's chest and said, Uh, you're really annoying. I can't even breathe from laughing. Howard on the side was both surprised and envious. Unexpectedly, after Raja's selective mutism was cured without treatment, he suddenly became a talent for picking up girls, which is truly impressive. After staying in the astronomical room for an hour, 
the three of them then left together by car. Howie, your home is quite close, let me take you home first, Xiang Nan said while driving. Let's send Penny first, I'm not in a hurry, Howard said with a quick wave of his hand. He can't rest assured that Xiang Nan and Penny are alone. No, let's send him off first, Penny insisted. Xiang Nan nodded and first sent Howard back to his home in Adadina. Do you want to come in and sit down? Howard leaned in the car, unwilling to get off. At that moment, the lights on the second floor of his house came on, followed by a hoarse voice shouting, Who's outside? Are you a thug? Who is that, your dad? Penny asked in surprise. Howard looked embarrassed and said, That's about it. Who the hell is it? I called the police, the voice continued to roar. Howard had no choice but to get off the car and shout, All right, Mom, it's me. Wow. Penny widened her eyes in surprise. She didn't expect Howard's mother to be so fierce, let alone that he was so grown up that he even lived with his mother. Goodbye, Howie. Xiang Nan didn't want to embarrass his friend and immediately started the car, taking Penny away. Come downstairs to Penny's house. Do you want to come up and have a drink? Penny invited with a smile. Xiang Nan hesitated for a moment. He can guess what will happen after going up, and in principle, he doesn't want to apologize to Leonard. However, he has never been in love for so long, and even blind dates have failed dozens of times. Now there is a blonde beauty with blue eyes, a sweet smile, and a hot figure who invites him home. Xiang Nan really can't refuse. Soon, his bathing hope triumphed over reason, okay. Subsequently, he followed Penny back home. Follow drinking, kissing, hugging this experience is Xiang Nan's first time, it feels like a dream, so psychedelic, so unreal. It wasn't until he woke up early and saw Penny lying next to him that Xiang Nan truly regained consciousness. Thirty-two years of being single he exclaimed with infinite emotion in his heart. Unable to sleep anymore, Xiang Nan looked at his watch and then quietly woke up and went to the kitchen to make breakfast. Raj is a person who knows how to enjoy life very much, claiming to be the brown version of Martha Stewart, the home economics queen of the United States, with excellent cooking skills. After becoming him, Xiang Nan also inherited his culinary skills. He cooked a rich breakfast after dividing three by five. Penny smelled the fragrance and woke up from her dream. Then she put on her nightgown and walked out of the bedroom. Good morning, beautiful woman. Breakfast is already ready. You can go wash your face and brush your teeth, and then you can eat, Xiang Nan said with a smile. Wow, your cooking skills are better than mine. Penny couldn't help but say when she saw him making fried eggs, toast, and sausages. Thank you for the compliment, Xiang Nan smiled and nodded. After washing up, the two of them had breakfast together. Well, the taste is really good, Penny praised while eating. Thank you, Xiang Nan nodded. By the way, Penny, do you have time today? I want to buy some new clothes. Can you help me reference them? Okay, Penny agreed as soon as she heard she was going shopping. After finishing breakfast, the two of them got tired for a while and then took a car to Macy's department store located in the city center. Arriving at the clothing area on the second floor, the two of them began to stroll around one by one. Penny's aesthetic taste is still very good. Especially from the perspective of a girl, she knows what kind of dress she appreciates, so she really helped Xiang Nan choose several handsome outfits. End of this chapter Chapter 10 10. Good Friends Have Blessings Together You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1010. Good Friends Have Blessings Together Penny, thank you so much. Without your help, I wouldn't have been able to buy such a suitable outfit. Xiang Nan smiled and thanked Penny before handing out a handbag. This is a small gift, please accept it. Penny was surprised for a moment. She has had so many boyfriends before, but there aren't many who have given her gifts voluntarily. She happily took it over, opened her handbag, 
and saw a pair of Prada's new women's shoes inside. Wow! Penny widened her eyes in surprise. This pair of women's shoes is worth at least a thousand dollars. Xian Nan surprisingly gave her such a valuable gift, which really surprised her. Hanny, you don't need to give me such a valuable gift, she smiled awkwardly. It's okay, as long as you like it, Xian Nan said with a smile. Penny is his first woman no matter what she says. Not to mention just a pair of shoes, even the entire Macy's department store, as long as he can afford it, he is willing to buy it and give it to her. Thank you, honey. You're so kind to me, Penny took the initiative to give me a sweet kiss. Now let's go eat and then go home. I want to reward you well. Xiang Nan immediately understood and nodded with a smile. After finishing lunch, the two returned to Penny's house again. A day of intimate and lingering affection. Until the next day, on a working day, the two were forced to separate. Driving to California Institute of Technology, just as he was seated in the office, Howard knocked on the door and walked in. Raj, where did you go yesterday? I've been looking for you all day, he asked excitedly. Sorry, buddy, I was with Penny yesterday, Xiang Nan spread out his hands. Although he doesn't want to show off, the truth is that. What? Howard widened his eyes upon hearing this, did you stay with Penny for a whole day? To be precise, it's two nights a day, from Saturday night until this morning. Xiang Nan smiled and nodded. He couldn't help but smile at the corner of his mouth as he thought of the two nights of enduring the lingering love. Hiss. Howard took a cold breath. He never expected Raj to have such an affair. Penny, with blonde hair and blue eyes, a curvaceous figure, and a sweet smile, can be called a beauty. He fell in love at first sight when he first met the day before yesterday, but he didn't want Raj to take the lead. You lucky soul pale, Howard couldn't help but sigh, I really shouldn't have gotten off that night. All right, don't be upset, Xiang Nan comforted him with a smile as he saw the situation. After my relationship with Penny stabilizes, I will ask her to introduce you to your girlfriend. Thank you, thank you, Howard exclaimed excitedly, as soon as he heard it, the darkness turned clear and he hugged Xiang Nan. Now tell me, what's the taste like, he asked in a low voice. Xiang Nan pushed him away and said, Howie, if you really want to find a girlfriend, don't act so hasty or obscene. Okay, you're the boss, everything is up to you. Howard asked for help and naturally complied with everything. After Howard left, Xiang Nan started working. Raja's official position is as an assistant research professor in the Department of Physics at the California Institute of Technology, currently responsible for researching planets in the Hubble Belt. The Keppel Belt is a dense, hollow disk-shaped region of the solar system near the ecliptic plane outside the orbit of Neptune. There are hundreds of thousands of tiny planets there, and Pluto, once one of the nine major planets, is located among them. Studying the Kuiper Belt helps people understand the origin and evolution of the solar system, thereby deepening their understanding of the universe they are in. In the series, Raj was selected by People as the 30 most noteworthy people under the age of 30 globally because he discovered a planet, 2008.nq sub.17, in the Hubble Belt. Before crossing over, Xiang Nan consulted relevant papers. He couldn't understand it at first, but after reading it, his mind was a mess. However, after receiving Raja's intelligence, astronomical knowledge, and superhuman memory, he quickly understood those papers. At present, he began writing his paper, The Edgeworth Kabir Fragment Disc. This paper was jointly published by renowned scholars Witten's Christian and Cliff Alexander V in 2010. It proposes a new algorithm to eliminate the skewness and distance selection effects in known TNO populations, thereby obtaining the expected parameters of real EKB. This is of great benefit to the study of the Keppel Belt, so the paper was quickly published in the top journal Astronomy and Astrophysics after its creation, and was included by Oxford University Press, OA Library, ResearchGate, and others. 
If Xiang Nan can publish this paper first, it will undoubtedly be of great help in enhancing his position and popularity in the industry. Throughout the morning, Xiang Nan was busy writing his paper. Although he already knows the key points of the paper, it is not easy for him to write one. He also needs to collect information, validate data, draw models. In summary, this is a very meticulous task that cannot be completed in a week or two. At noon, Howard invited him to the cafeteria for a meal. There, he met with Leonard and Sheldon. Upon seeing him, Leonard's expression became somewhat stiff. How could you treat me like this? He asked Raj in question. What did I do to you? Xiang Nan was somewhat puzzled. Penny was my first crush, why did you take her away? Leonard asked angrily. Please, she's human and not physical. How could I possibly take her away? You're a bit objectified, Xiang Nan laughed. Leonard's momentum was one of the obstacles, and his voice immediately quieted down. I didn't mean that, in short, you understand in your heart. I understand, but it's really not my fault. She took the initiative to invite me to her house for a drink. Xiang Nan spread his hands and said, If you were me, would you refuse? Upon hearing this, Howard's eyes immediately lit up with envy. Leonard is quiet and silent. If it were him, he would indeed refuse. All right, don't be sad. There is a Chinese saying, where is the end of the earth without fragrant grass? Why love a single flower? Xiang Nan advised with a smile, there are so many beautiful women in this world, why do you only love her? You have Penny now, of course you speak lightly, Leonard said sourly. There are indeed many beautiful women, but he never caught one. Don't worry, we are all friends, sharing blessings and facing difficulties together. After my relationship with Penny stabilizes, I will ask her to help introduce you to a friend, Xiang Nan smiled. Yeah. Leonard stopped complaining and cheered happily. Raj, don't forget me either, Howard reminded him immediately, afraid of falling behind. I really feel sad for you, Sheldon said contemptuously as he saw them only talking about women. End of this chapter